Hey guys, Grayson here once again, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of the methods that I myself use uh, to quickly and easily create uh, order forms that are semi-automated and free to use, completely free, uh, courtesy of Google. So I'm going to jump right in, guys. This is not anything super complicated. It's really, really straightforward. Uh, so as you can see here on our screen, we are working with Google Forms. For those of you guys that are not familiar with Google Forms, it is a free service as part of the Google Drive initiative. Simply go to Google, type in Google Forms, and sign up. You just need a Gmail account, and it's absolutely free to use. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and prepared and created a Google Form for two different types of services that you could offer. Um, as you can see in this first example, I've created a form for a professional graphic design service. It is a very, very, very straightforward interface, and I don't want you to feel like you missed out on anything uh, throughout the process of creating it. So I'll just show you really, really quick kind of how it works. Whenever you start out with Google Forms, you're going to have a pretty much fresh, fresh template here. Um, as you can see here, it just starts out with an untitled form, untitled question. You simply offer your service here, uh, marketing services application as an example and you can you can go ahead and uh, fill out your own description here and here as a question there's a couple of different options let's say for example we want to collect their email addresses this is something that you probably want to have as one of your first questions that is the one thing that you need to go up here to the top and select collect email addresses for and it'll automatically populate that field and then you can enter in your first question and here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask for their Skype information and short answer it actually will auto populate it's a very intelligent uh, platform you can create a short answer response, a paragraph response, a multiple choice response, check boxes, drop down. There's tons of options. For this one, they're gonna have to enter and type in something whenever they complete the form. So we're gonna just leave it as the short answer text. And here to the bottom right, you can select it as a required question. If for example, you only wanna contact clients to, through Skype, they're gonna have to enter in something. For this, I'm not gonna make it a requirement. Go ahead and click on add question and I'm just going to show you a quick example of a couple of the different question formats. So we've got their email address, we've got their Skype. Let's ask them what kind of services they're wanting to purchase from us. So let's say um, please select your desired marketing plan. Option number one could be one hour marketing consulting and you can just put a price here of whatever it is that you're offering. And you can add an option for other. So if you want to have, uh, you want to give your clients the opportunity to type in their own answer, you can do that as well. So we're going to add another section here. And let's use a, let's go with multiple choice this time. Please specify your preferred availability. Option number one, let's say uh, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. I'll we'll add in another section here. Just go ahead and let's have a paragraph. Give them the option to add additional notes. You get the idea. So that's how that's how uh, the setup process goes. And I'm going to go into more detail here uh, on these forms that I've already created. I just wanted to kind of show you the setup process just so you can see how quick and easy it is to actually do yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just run over one of these design forms that I've already created. This one in particular is for graphic design. As you can see, we've collected their email address. We've asked them what type of graphic it is that they're wanting to purchase. We asked them for the title, the subtitle, the author name, any preferred color schemes. As you can see here, I didn't actually require these two questions because a lot of people like to give the designer flexibility on that. So that's not a required question. 
any kind of special notes that the client may have as well as any add-on services that they want to offer. Now, uh, you can really get smart with this and you can create custom PayPal invoices and things like that. And I'm actually gonna probably show you guys uh, a couple of different ways to automate the invoicing and the payment process as well. But for now, uh, this is really all you need to kind of dive in and get started with pretty much zero investment. Google Forms is absolutely free. And it works for pretty much any kind of service. As you can see, we've created a really nice general graphic design form here. And I'm gonna show you now uh, one of the sales copy forms that I've created. And this is actually a working form that one of my clients uses. I created it for him and I was kind of wanting to see if you know it converted well and truth be told, it, it actually has. So as you can see, this is nothing fancy, nothing super complicated. I just simply asked you know, what kind of service they want. And then there's a couple more detailed questions here. You know, I also know about their audience, their niche, uh, some background information on them, because this is something that the sales copywriter is actually going to have to really kind of dig into uh, to be able to create a good sales copy. I've got uh, one of my one of my best copywriters. I actually consulted with her on some of the questions and some of the things that she asks her clients whenever she takes on new sales copy clients. And uh, these are proven questions. It's going to really take a lot of the guesswork out of it, and it's going to take a lot of the legwork and back and forth with the client out of it as well. I highly suggest you guys check out Google Documents and Google Forms and leverage these uh, to you know as much as you possibly can because this is really just the start. Um, you can create a custom form for pretty much any kind of service. You can actually customize the header. I'm probably going to end up doing that here as well in a future video. I personally just left it on the purple for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, but what I wanted to show you next before we close this video is part of the, is, this is probably the best part about using Google Forms, is the automation factor to it. Uh, whenever you actually create a, uh, you know, a Google Form and you have clients that are filling these forms out, we can completely automate the emailing uh, of both of you and your client, so that way you are never missing a job, you're never uh, missing any kind of opportunity to follow up with a sales lead. So what I'm going to show you next is the email notifications plugin that I also use with the uh, Google Forms application. Simply click on the little puzzle piece up here. I've already installed it, so if you are new to Google Forms and you haven't already installed it, just simply search the Google Play Store for email notifications for forms. As you can see, we've got a pop-up here, and it's going to ask us kind of what we want to use the email notification for forms application for. In this event, we are going to be creating an email notification just to let us know whenever somebody's filled our form out and they are interested in uh, our services. It's very, very, very straightforward, guys. As you can see to the right-hand side, sender's full name. Uh, this is going to be the name that you know the email comes from. So you can put, you know, my sales copy form if you want to that's who the sender will be uh, and you can have it come from your actual gmail account or you can have it come from a different email account if you prefer um, it's really it really doesn't matter either way and uh, here you specify which email addresses you want to notify uh, you can send yourself you know partners colleagues or any any part of your team really if you guys use slack or any of those applications for team management um, you can also integrate it with this as well and, and then the reply to address again, just all really, really straightforward stuff. Um, this option right here, notify form submitter, um, this will also send them a copy of the email form as well. In this event, I'm not going to select that. Hit continue. And as you can see here, we're gonna set a rule, uh, sales copy you have a new sale it's lead. Here are the results, all answers. And you can actually add in custom fields too. It's really, really neat, guys. You can say, for example, if you wanted to, um, submitter's email address, for example. You can really kind of make it make it your own. Let's say I'm trying to find length of sales copy. There we go.
Okay. Create a rule. Alrighty. So now I'm going to be showing you this is what the live form looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and complete this really quick. All right, and this is actually something that I'm going to show you here in just a second after I uh, show you the email notification, but you can change the success message and you can also change the success uh, redirect if you so choose. And I just opened up my email and as you can see, the email form notification has gone through and it's pretty much given me a summary of everything that I wanted to know. As you can tell, our custom our custom information that we put in is already specified, and this is pretty much everything we're going to need to know. I mean, if you wanted to go back to the form, you can absolutely do that by going back to the form and viewing responses. As you can see, Google Forms gives you a really, really nice detailed overview of the responses by individual and also by group. Um, it gra also even graphs, so for example, if you're taking a poll or if you're wanting to kind of see which one of your service offerings or which one of your, uh, which one of your actual uh, questions is getting answered the most, you can use this service as well. So I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of how Google Forms works. And the one last thing that I wanted to show you is the success URL redirect here. Go ahead and click on settings. And this is actually the confirmation message. So uh, the page that I just showed you a moment ago, whenever I completed the form, that's what you see. So for example, we could say, thanks for completing my form. Our copywriter will review your I'm just kind of just going with it just to show you. There's also a couple of different settings here. I'm sure you can you can play around with it in your own time, but you can shuffle. You can actually shuffle the questions. There's there's also some some features here for quizzes. That's something new that I'm gonna probably be looking into next week. Um, so yeah, guys, that's Google Forms in a nutshell. I just wanted to give you the brief introduction and hopefully you found this this training useful. I highly suggest that you use it uh, along with, uh, you know, there's so many other Google services out there that you can use that are completely free, guys. You know, you don't need a whole lot of money to get started. All you need to do is, is be ready to take action and work with the resources that you have. Once again, guys, my name is Grayson and I want to thank you so much for checking out this video. I encourage you to leave comments and ask me questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks, guys. Bye.